Dun -dun -dun -dun. Too much. Today's Christmas video, in the hopes of it not being too much, we're going to be having a look at the fantastic Funko Vinyl. This is a year without a Santa Claus Heat Miser and Snow Miser Vinyl Collectibles. Before we do anything, let's first figure out how tall the Snow Miser and his brother, the Heat Miser. We're going to start with first the Snow Miser, stopping the Ultra Megatron, stopping the Ultra Megatron. Sometimes the hold button sticks. Five inches from the top, bottom to the top. Centimeters, that works out to be 12.7 centimeters for the Snow Miser. We're going to switch our what are we doing here? We're going to switch back to inches, take off the hold. There we go. And we're going to first, well, second, secondly, we're going to figure out how tall Heat Miser stands. And I think they're on average about the same height. Ultra Measuretron working a little bit better that time. 5.3 inches from the bottom to the top, which also then in centimeters, you're looking at 13.5. Our name is Funko and we make lots of crap. Actually, no, that's not true. Well, it is in some cases, but what they don't make crap wise is vinyls. I love vinyl figures. I try to pick up every single set that comes out and there's some I have missed my opportunity to get. But for Christmas time, I believe this set actually came out last year and I was going through my archives. Maybe I was going with my eyes closed. I don't remember reviewing this set last year. Fast forward ahead to 2018. Fast forward to the month of December. I thought, no, we're going to get to doing it this year. Now, both the figures come with their clear display stands. If you are curious as to how they stand without their stands, let me just show you now. I'm going to go ahead and take both of them off. One of them stands a little bit better than the other. Cue the opportunity for this to, t to fall over. No? You're sure? Are you sure? Don't want to finger point anyone specifically, but Heat Miser does have a little bit more of a problem fall falling over because the way he's leaning, his big bulbous head sort of causes the figure to topple over. In theory though, both of them can stand without their supplied display stands. Just to show you as well, the display stands are different from one another, so you can't use them for either or. You can use this one, the one with the smaller peg for Heat Miser and his brother, the Snow Miser, because they have smaller pegs. Heat Miser, however, uses larger pegs and it just doesn't fit properly into Snow Miser's feet. So as a result, you may want to use the larger peg for Heat Miser, smaller peg for Snow Miser. Let's go ahead and do that right now. You can see the holes on the undersides of their feet. Let me demonstrate how to attach these. Just attach them to the undersides of their feet, push up, bingo bango, you've got yourself a figure with their display stand. We'll do the same thing with the Heat Miser. A tutorial on this channel. Hey, why not? Why not? It's the holiday season. We give as much as we can during the holiday season. It's the least I could do. So let's have a look first at Snow Miser. I preferred Snow Miser myself, so that's why we're going to start with him. Sadly, the one wish I could make this holiday season was for the fact that my Snow Miser didn't have a little chip on the end of his nose. Too much. Dun, 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 dun. One thing I do like, though, is that the little icicles coming down from his nose are translucent. They're almost like a, like a bluish tinted clear plastic. Like in the show as well, the, the Christmas special, he's kind of got this ice sort of hair. It looks like it's been just chiseled out with uh, like a little pickaxe. Probably something that Yukon Cornelius could do. He could be his stylist, his barber. He's got his little tiny... A little cane, which is the same sort of clear plastic. Also got a scarf. Kind of looks like 
it kind of looks like uh, Captain Cold from like the waist down. Or it also looks like Professor Coldheart from Care Bears, but I'm probably dating myself by saying that. It's got some decent enough color. Some of the lines don't quite line up, but at least it's something that you're not seeing because it's on the back of the figure. Colors are pretty vibrant between the blue and the darker, well, the dark blue, the slightly lighter blue in the stripes of his scarf, and then the white color here. White normally can get pretty messy, but uh, it's for the most part not too, too terrible. The little, uh, little triangular decos from his boots. You can see it gets, uh, doesn't quite get the most cleanest of paint jobs as it makes its way into his leggings. Missing on both of these, sadly, are their little minions. I guess they wouldn't have included the little tiny versions of themselves dancing. Do, 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 do. One thing that is good, though, is that both the figures have head posability. Snow Miser, you can rotate his head back and forth. Then all of a sudden you stop short when you get to his hand. It uh, prevents the head from going any further past that point. Again, nice looking face print on the printing of his face. Very unique sculpts. The hat is not removable. No, it's not removable. There is the Snow Miser. Let's have a look at the Heat Miser, which I didn't like him as much in the series. He kind of seemed like he was a bit of a jerk. Of course, the Snow Miser could equally, you could equally say the same thing. This one's neat because he's got the little fire sticking up from his hand. He's projecting a little flame on his on his hand. Really, the whole thing about this guy is the fact he's super hot. Right down to the fact that he's got really hot red ears, hot red nose, and uh, his head. At first glance, it almost looks like it's translucent plastic. I think it's actually just solid plastic that they painted in orange and the uh, the yellow, yellow tips on the end there. I don't think it's actually, it actually has any sort of translucency to it. Nice face print. It looks very much like he does from the special. A little bit more of a heftier, bulbous fellow. Um, as you can see, it does definitely not share the exact same body mold as his brother, the Snow Miser. He's got little curly shoes like Snow Miser does. I like, the, again, the pose of him. He does have head pose ability, but he kind of runs into the same problem on the same hand as Snow Miser has. Uh, in this case, his ears sort of clip the side flame here. But you got to be careful when you move in this back and forth. You don't accidentally, I guess you wouldn't necessarily break it. It's a harder plastic, but at the very least, it would probably scrape and maybe cause some damage to the paint there. Um, again, I really like the head sculpt. The head sculpts are perfect on both of these. It makes me think, and if they haven't done so already, I'd love to see more Funko vinyls in the Christmas themes. The ones I'm thinking of are the Grinch, and I'd love to see also like a Yukon Cornelius and Abominable Snow Monster as a two-pack. If they haven't already done so, ring-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling goes the phone over at Funko. They pick up the phone. Hello, yes, Funko. Stacy McCutcheon's. Uh, receptionist at Funko and I would say yes you don't know me but I'm thinking for vinyls what if you did the abominable snow monster and Yukon Cornelius from Rudolph and then she would reply hey wait a minute aren't you that guy that was singing the jingle about we're Funko we make lots of crap click and that's the sound of the phone hanging <laughs> hanging up overall I do really like these quite a bit I suppose I'm a bit biased for the fact that these are vinyls but taking two things I really quite like, the Funko Vinyl lineup and the fact we have Christmas magic. Magic in the sense that we are getting the year without a Santa Claus, Heat Miser and Snow Miser a year later, but still something that we're looking at here for Christmas spots. As we enter into the holiday season and we look into the new year fast approaching, one thing that can be certain is that you come up with New Year's resolutions. Perhaps my New Year's resolution for 2019 is I'm going to be a little easier on the company Funko. I admit there are some products that they produce, such as the Dorbs, which I think should be just obliterated, sent off in a rocket ship to the sun. Um, but there are some other things that I think they produce quite well. For example, the Mystery Minis. For example, the Vinyls, for example. Uh, Pops, I think they need to sort of ease down, but like I said for 2019, I think I'm going to be a little nicer. I'll be a nicer reviewer when it comes to Funko's property. As long as they continue to produce vinyl, that's going to be A-OK -okay with me. And future ideas for, again, the Christmas classics, I think they could easily do some Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stuff and Grinch if they haven't done so already. Maybe they've already released them. If they have, I haven't found them. 
and for the Christmas holiday season, even though it was a year later, we wanted to have a look at least at the year within the Santa Claus vinyl figures of the Heat Miser and Snow Miser. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Too much. Today's Christmas magical video, we were having a look at the Funko Vinyl a Year Without Santa Claus. This is the Heat Miser and Snow Miser vinyl collectibles. Funko's not always producing crap. It'd be a lot better for 2019, I promise. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Christmas reviews for 2019 or 2018, you'll be able to find them. I've just recently started posting some Christmas stuff. So, kind of halfway through the year, I know I wanted to do them starting to do them earlier into December and I just never got a chance. The month, if you will, between Christmas shopping, having a little baby to look after as well. The months, the weeks leading into the month sort of just escaped me and I didn't get a chance to do as much as I wanted to this year. But rest assured, there's still going to be a whole lot more Christmas spots lined up for 2018. And hey now, if you feel like you're not getting enough Christmas fix on this channel, why not go back and have a look at some of the other Christmas spots that I've done all the previous le years leading up to 2018. I think I've done Christmas spots every single year. There's a whole lot of stuff that you guys can check out. Maybe some of the stuff that you want to see me review is stuff that I've already looked at on this channel. So have a look at those playlists when you get a chance. Thanks for watching as you always do, guys. And I'll see you next time.